Hello everyone, welcome back with another new topic on Microsoft Azure. In today's session, we are going to discuss about how to use Azure Key Vault in Logic App. To understand the basic concept of Azure Key Vault and its uses and how to create secret in Azure Key Vault, please watch my another videos created on these topics. You will find the links in i button or in the description below. Let's log into Azure portal and perform this live demo. All right, so we are logged into the our Azure portal and in the previous session, we have created this key vault called my key vault demo 2. And for this session, I have created this logic app key vault demo logic app. So I'll open this logic app. If you see this logic app, this is a blank logic app. I don't have anything selected and these are the templates that is showing here. So I'll click on cross. In this logic app, I'll go here and if you see the identity, okay, inside this setting identity, just select the identity. And in this identity section, you will have the system assigned. By default, it is it's showing status is off. So you just you just have to enable that identity. Okay, so what is the purpose of that? A system assigned managed identity is a uh, restricted to one per resource and is tied to the life cycle of resources you can grant permission to the managed identity by using azure rbse that called role based access control the managed identity is authenticate with the azure id so you don't have to store any credential in the code we just change this status to on and click on save it will show you the message enable system manage system assigned managed identity key vault demo logic app will be registered and azure active directory once it is registered your logic app can be grant permission to access resource protected by azure id it is asking do you want to enable the system assigned managed identity for this logic app i'll say yes it is enabling the system assigned managed identity. All right. So once this part is done, you will see the option. We will get this principal ID. You can copy this principal ID that we will use later. Okay. Now let's click on home. Now we have to open our key vault that we have created in the previous session. So let's create, let's open this Azure key vault. In the Azure Key Vault, we have to go to the Access Policy. Click on Access Policy. We have to add the Access Policy. Let's click on Add Access Policy. And here, from this drop down, Configure from Template Options, we have to select the Secret Management. Selected. Key Permission, Keep as it is 0 selected. Certificate Permission, Keep as it is 0 selected. But for Secret Permission, if you click on drop down, you will see we have these are the operations which are selected so for now what we can do we can deselect everything and we can just select get and list now next option select principal click on this one and here the principal id that we have copied there just paste it here once you paste it you will see your logic app name will appear here just select that logic app name click on select and then click on add if you can see we have another entry available here now and it has two operations get and list which we have created just now and this is this is our logic app name all right now let's go and click on save All right, so all the configuration has been done. Now let's go here, open our logic app, go to the designer view, and here we will select blank logic app. We will quickly create a very small logic app where we will have a schedule. Uh, for now, I'll keep it like every three day, our recurrence, and here in this operation, 
I'll just choose the Azure Key Vault. So when you choose the Azure Key Vault, there are multiple actions that you can perform. Okay. So for this demo purpose, we will just try to get the secret. Whatever the secret we have saved there, we will try to get it that. Okay. So once you select on that, it will ask you to choose uh, to sign in. Okay. So either you can connect the service principle or you can connect with managed identity. So we will click on managed identity. It is asking to provide the connection name. So for this one, I'll just pass uh, my key vault connection. We just have to pass the key vault name. So my key vault demo two is my key vault name. And in the manage identity, I'll select system assigned manage identity. Click on create. It will create the connection. All right, so if you can see our connection has been created and connection name is my key vault connection. Okay, so now click on this drop down and you will see your name of secret demo key vault for LA. The secret that we have created here. Let's see. The secret that we have created in the previous session. This one is appearing here. Let's select that. Okay, and now click on save logic app. Okay, so logic app has been saved successfully. Now we'll go and trigger the run. It's successfully triggered and we will get the information here. Yep, both the action has both these steps has been successfully passed. We'll go to the resource. This is fine. We'll go to the secret and see. We have called the secret and we got the value. Okay, so this is the value of that secret. And this is the name of that secret. Now suppose if you want to hide this information, suppose if you want, if you don't want to show this information, whatever the password you have saved, if you want, don't want to show it, what you can do, you can just go to the designer view click on three dots go to the settings and here you will have this option secure input secure output so for now i just have to secure i just want to secure the output so i'll select on and click on done let's save it okay it saved successfully let's run the trigger again Trigger has been successfully completed. We'll go, we'll see recurrence is fine. We'll go and see. So in this time, we just have, we just, we can just see the input, but the output is not visible. It is saying content not shown due to security configuration. Okay, so in this way, we can hide the content so no one can see that content. All right, so that's it for this session. I hope. You enjoyed watching this video and learned how to use Azure Key Vault in Azure Logic App. If you have any query or any suggestion, please feel free to contact me. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.